This is the last subtopic of Chapter 8, Application of Recombinant DNA Technology in Insulin Production by Using CDNA. What is insulin? Insulin is a hormone made in your pancreas. So the function of insulin is to allow your body to break down glucose for production of energy in the form of ATP. Insulin also helps balance your blood glucose levels. So what happens if an individual cannot produce insulin or if the pancreas is failed to function? The effect in human if cannot produce insulin is the individual will have diabetes disease. Diabetes disease is when the individual has high blood glucose level condition. Since the glucose level in the blood is high and the individual cannot produce insulin, this individual will depend on injection of insulin to decrease the blood glucose level back to normal. This is the overview about application of recombinant DNA technology in mass production of insulin using cDNA. So we had learned that there are five steps in gene cloning and all of those steps will be applied. So the first step is isolation. In isolation, plasmid will be isolated from the bacteria and then target gene containing insulin gene will be isolated from the human pancreatic cell. But this process didn't occur directly because it involves the production of cDNA. We will discuss about the production of cDNA later. After isolation, cut or cleave will occur where the plasmid will be cut open and the insulin gene cut out by using same restriction enzyme. After cut, insertion will occur where the insulin gene will be inserted into the plasmid by using DNA ligase to form recombinant plasmid. And then transformation and amplification will occur where recombinant plasmid will be transformed into the bacteria and the bacteria will be amplified into many clones and then culture in a medium and screening step will occur where recombinant bacteria will be selected. The recombinant bacteria will be allowed to undergo fermentation to produce insulin and lastly the insulin will be extracted from the recombinant bacteria. Let's discuss about how the cDNA is involved in this process. The insulin gene or the target gene is in the cDNA. So insulin gene is in cDNA form is used as target DNA. Instead of isolate the target gene directly from the human pancreatic cell, another process will be used where this process involves formation of cDNA. So what is cDNA? Why we use cDNA? And then how the cDNA is produced? cDNA is complementary DNA. C stands for complementary. cDNA is a DNA synthesized in vitro or inside test tube by using mRNA as template. Since mRNA is the template to synthesis DNA, this is a reverse transcription process. And the enzyme used is reverse transcriptase. What we had learned in transcription, DNA will become template to synthesis mRNA. But in this case, mRNA will become the template to synthesis DNA. Hence, this is a reverse transcription. Why we use mRNA as a template to synthesis cDNA? It is because end of transcription, a premature mRNA will be formed. And this premature mRNA contain intron and exon. The pre-mRNA need to undergo RNA splicing process where all the introns will be removed and all the exons will be joined to form a mature mRNA. So this mature mRNA will move from nucleus into the cytoplasm. This mature mRNA in the cytoplasm will be extracted and used as template. Since this mature mRNA contains exons only, after reverse transcription process, the cDNA produced also will contain exons only and no introns. So cDNA 
contain exon coding sequence only and no intron non coding sequence so this is steps of how the cdna molecules will be produced mrna is the template and this mrna is a mature mrna that contain exons only which is extracted from cytoplasm so why from cytoplasm because in cytoplasm only mature mrna can be found and then we add reverse transcriptase enzyme to synthesis single strand cdna complementary to the mrna a hybrid molecule contain mrna strand and single stranded cdna will be formed since a dna molecule contain dna strands only so we have to remove mrna strand next step is mrna degradation enzyme will be used to remove mrna now a single stranded cdna will be used as a template to synthesis second stranded cdna this step will use dna polymerase where it will synthesis second strand cdna complementary to the single stranded cdna now we have double stranded cdna will be used as a target dna in gene cloning the advantages of using insulin produced by recombinant DNA technology are it is cheaper, it can be produced in a large quantity at one time, it is compatible because it is similar to human insulin, it is safe where there is no side effect and causing non allergy, and most important thing is it is a halal product or Sharia compliance production. There are many applications of recombinant DNA technology are used now. Production of insulin is only one of example.